Greetings and salutations, friends and strangers of the internet. Uh, Dre Hawkins here, and uh, today I am on a tractor, if you can't tell. I'm planting some cotton, so if you hear some beeping that did or that is blah, 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 my uh, planter alarm, just usually warning me if uh, one particular row is point in hand getting slightly low on the seat count or maybe a little bit high it kind of fluctuates back and forth a little bit the main thing that it maintains an average and it, and it does so we're doing good don't be alarmed that i'm not stopping to investigate whenever it's beeping me um, that's just kind of a, a precursor if it starts to get real crazy then yeah i'm gonna stop and check it out anywho that is all beside the point neither here nor there i guess technically it is here since that's where i am what i'm doing but I wanted to go ahead and unbox or unbag my uh, May Monster Pass bag, which I just got yesterday, which uh, some of you probably already know. Uh, so, anyways, without further ado, let's get into the damn thing. Uh, yes, you've probably seen that I'm not using any hands. Look, Ma, no hands! GPS is awesome. It's real. One day it will likely be everywhere. All right. So in this bag, start off with this. We've got a sticker, Freedom Toss sticker. That's a pretty funny sticker, if you ask me. If you don't, oh well. Golden tickets. Got a little number on there. They uh, give away prizes Thursdays on their live stream. And then we've got a $10 cash card to Detour Sunglasses. I haven't actually tried their sunglasses out, but my wife does, and she loves them. She'll be happy I got that. Um, so now on to the tackle. First thing I'm going to pull out here, Stand Out Drop Shot Hooks by Daiichi. Um, now these suckers are awesome. They uh, really help your bait to stand... Uh, level in the water and to really give that uh, drop shot action, that unique action of that, that bait profile, just kind of chilling and hanging out there, standing sideways in the water like that. Um, <clears throat> so to go along with those, I guess it doesn't have to be necessarily with those. You can Texas rig or Carolina rig, these I'm certain are... Uh, the uh, 4 inch Pro Series Slammer by X Zone Lures. They're kind of an opaque with some purple and black fleck and gold fleck in there. Um, kind of to mimic a variety of bait fish. Um, so, ought to be really good. I'll be able to smash some bass on these drop shot baits. Or, I guess you don't, they're not specifically a drop shot. Bait, even though it does say hot drop shot bait right there. Now, for a second, you're just going to have to bear with me while I get this here rig turned around. You're going back the other direction. baits four and a quarter inch kamikaze swim on in the color apparently called hematoma this is kind of a interesting looking little creature bait mixed between like a craw and a worm i'll show you one here this is uh like a, a blue with a, a red fleck and maybe some black on it mixed in it also but you see those little features hanging down there I love big bite baits. I've caught lots of big bass and big bite baits. I'm sure this one is going to be no different used as a trailer, or you could probably even just Texas rig this sucker by itself, or throw it on, say, uh, one of my favorites is the Headbanger Rocker Head. Head would probably work great with this little bait. Uh, yeah, it'll be good. On to the next. 
from Smart Baits, which are a color changing baits. You got a kind of a pink on one side, green pumpkin on the other. Uh, I don't know, probably about uh, six inch there. And plastic worm that you could Texas rig, Carolina rig. You could, you could probably drop shot this if you wanted. Um, but the, the really cool and unique thing about these baits and what makes them so effective is that once these suckers hit the water, they are going to turn blood red, which obviously mimics a bleeding bait fish. And a lot of times, seeing that color red on a bait that maybe wasn't previously red, especially, you know, if, the, if they can witness that happening, um, can really draw some, some big fish into biting. So, really cool bait. Very excited to have another package of uh, smart baits in my arsenal. Right, now on to the hard baits. First thing I'm going to pull out here is a Mac Crasher Frog by Raptor Lures. Black with a, kind of a black and chartreuse uh, tail on there. Um, let's check this out. One thing that I just noticed on this frog that a lot of a lot of companies don't uh, put any effort into is this thing has got some color and pattern on its belly. Okay, now obviously I've always thought that the stuff on the top that's that's just that's just for show. That's just to make a fisherman happy, just to sell it. What matters is what the fish see. What the fish see is the belly. If if the sucker's just sitting there in open water now, I mean obviously uh, lots of times a frog bite comes from the noise and the action um, and, and the movement on the surface of the water that is created by uh, whatever uh, retrieving pattern that you're using. Um, but anyways, nonetheless, I think it's pretty cool that they have uh, a pattern on the bottom of that bait where the fish can see it. Right, and let's see. Next, I shall pull out Striking Red Eyed Special Spinner Bait. This is a 3 8 ounce spinner bait. Um, kind of a, a chartreuse and white color there. And you can see there, it's got a red eye on the uh, spinner bait there itself and on that willow blade. It's got a Colorado blade and a willow blade. I love mixed bladed spinner baits like that. It just creates some a unique vibration and bass just love it. And my dad would approve this. I'll, I'll give you away a little secret. He always told me put googly eyes on the blades of your spinner bait and that will draw fish to bite might otherwise turn their heads and swim off from swim spinner bait. So something to think about that. Pretty cool they got that red eye there. Next we've got a two and three quarter inch third ounce square bill crankbait from the Vicious Fit Fishing and that is a perch color and once again you're going to hold that thought while I turn this rig around. I'm more efficient in my tractor driving than my uh, unbagging. <laughs> I should hope so. I've had a lot more experience uh, driving tractors than I have uh, pulling baits out of a bag. I really do love pulling baits out of a bag. Let me tell you, it's like Christmas every month. If you don't try it, you should try it. And if you don't fish often enough to warrant maintaining the subscription, that's okay. You can cancel it at any time. Love square bill crankbaits. Vicious fishing. Vicious fishing. Gonna be a good one. I left out a sticker here, Lunker Hunt sticker. Um, I feel like it's a little random in this box. I haven't seen a single bait in there from Lunker Hunt. I don't make the rules, I just 
pull the shit out of the box. Okay, last bait in the box. Mustad Scatter Shad Blade Jig. If you don't fish with bladed jigs, be it a chatterbait by Z-Man or uh, the Thunder Cricket by Strike King, you got to give them a try. These are awesome, awesome baits. They often work year-round. Um, throw you a, a nice trailer on that sucker and get to retrieve it through the water and in between the action of the trailer and the thumping made by the jig and by, or by the blade above the jig head it will draw some big old fishies to buy I'm here to tell you and not only that they'll, they won't just catch bass they will catch multiple species of fish you know walleye saw guy uh, I'm sure if you're in the north um, muskie and pike um, and any kind of a predator fish is going to eat a bladed jig All right, and now probably the most important part of this bag for me is going to, as soon as I get flattened out over this terrace, my camera's not going to fall. I will show you this right here. See that? Does it look familiar? That's a handsome feller on there. That's because it's me. That's me. <laughs> I am in the Monster Bass bag, y'all. That's awesome. Woo! I cannot thank Monster Bass enough for the opportunity and for the exposure. Having the confidence to, in me to put me in their bag and to feature me like that. I greatly appreciate it. And uh, I hope that you have enjoyed this unbagging video as much as I have. Uh, who, did, who didn't like to see an unbagging video on a tractor? Huh? The rest of these guys, what are they doing? Fishing? <laughs> I want to fish too. I'll get to just either after it rains or we finish planting them cotton. It's that simple. Anyways, uh, next time you see me, I will, uh, I'll be fishing. So uh, you guys take care. We'll see you soon.